Ever since we had the interview between Tucker Carlson and Vladimir Putin, there's been a lot of analysis, a lot of people expressing their opinions, how they saw it, uh, what they think of Tucker Carlson, what they think of the Western Euro um, globalists and all that. But uh, what do people think about Putin's performance? That's also been quite a, an interesting discussion over the last uh, few weeks. Uh, but Tucker Carlson himself was actually on uh, Lex Friedman's uh, podcast and he was talking to Lex about this and he mentioned... Uh, Putin seemed nervous. Let's go to this and then let me know what you think in the comment section. What was your first impression when you met uh, Vladimir Putin for the interview? I thought he seemed nervous. And I was very surprised by that. And I thought he seemed like someone who'd overthought it a little bit, who had a plan. And I don't think that's the right way to go into any interview. My strong sense, having done a lot of them for a long time, is that it's better to know what you think to say, you know, as much as you can, honestly, so you don't get confused by your own lies, um, and just to be yourself. And I thought that he went into it um, like an overprepared student. And I'm and I kept thinking, why is why is he nervous? Um, but you know, I guess because he thought a lot of people were going to see it. But he was also probably prepared to um, to give you a full lesson in history. As he did. <laughs> well, I was totally shocked by that and very annoyed because I thought he was filibustering. I thought he would, I mean, I asked him, as I usually do, the most obvious, dumbest question ever, which is, you know, why'd you do this? And um, he had said in a speech that I think is worth reading, I don't speak Russian, so I, I haven't heard it in the original, but um, he had said at the moment of the beginning of the war, he had given this address to Russians in which he explained to the fullest extent we have seen so far why he was doing this. And he said in that speech, I fear that NATO, the West, the United States, the Biden administration will preemptively attack us. And I thought, well, that's interesting. I mean, I, I can't evaluate whether that's a fear rooted in reality or, or one rooted in paranoia, but I thought, well, that's, well, that's an answer right there. And so I alluded to that in my question and rather than answering it, he went off on this long, from my perspective, kind of tiresome um, sort of greatest hits of Russian history. And the implication I thought was, well, Ukraine is ours or Eastern Ukraine is ours already. Um, and I thought he was doing that to avoid answering the question. So, you know, the last thing you want when you're interviewing someone is to get rolled. Uh, and I didn't want to be rolled. So I, a couple of times interrupted him politely, I thought, um, but he wasn't having it. And then I thought, you know what? I'm not here to prove that I'm a great interviewer. It's kind of not about me. I want to know who this guy is. I think a Western audience, a global audience has a right to know more about the guy. And so just let him talk, you know, because it's not, you know, I don't feel like my reputation's on the line. People have already drawn conclusions about me, I suppose, to the extent they have. I'm not interested really in those conclusions anyway. So just let him talk. And so I calmed down and just let him talk. And in retrospect, I thought that was really, really interesting. You know, whether you agree with it or not, or whether you think it's relevant to the war in Ukraine or not, that was his answer. And so it's inherently significant. 